Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 2003 Georgie Boy Cruise Master. This is the model number 3515, which is my personal favorite floor plan that Cruise Master makes. Got the side hall, which I'll go over that here in a minute. This is a 30, uh, 34 foot Class A with two slide outs. It just turned 30,000 miles, got 30,800 some odd miles on it. Uh, this is a nice unit, folks. Got the workhorse chassis with the Allison transmission. Got the big 8100 Vortec V8 with a class leading 340 horsepower, which is the most powerful gas engine that you could have bought in 2003. Uh, 34 feet overall length, bumper to bumper. Clean unit, got the 5500 Onan generator, runs great. Just drove it 500 miles in here. Um, you know, one thing I'm going to point out that we're going to do when we go through our inspection, we've got to put a new awning canvas on. It's got the Illumigar patio awning. We're going to put a new canvas on it, so uh, you want to worry about that. It'll be brand new. As we look around, folks, it's got the hydraulic leveling jacks. Tires look great. You got know, workhorse chassis, got a great turning radius, got a very heavy duty Allison transmission, which is a big selling point for the workhorses. Basically, the best way to describe a workhorse chassis is, is it was designed just for RV applications by GM or Chevrolet. And it's basically a heavy duty diesel chassis with a front engine gas engine. And it is tough, great turning radius. You're going to love that wider wheelbase because it's going to be a lot more stable on the road and many other benefits as well. Uh, 34 feet, which is a medium sized Class A. You know, not too big, not too small. Still getting a lot of the state parks and older campgrounds. Got the rear view camera system. Got the 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch on the back. Basement storage, you can see the striping and finish looks good, especially for the year model. I mean, this is a 14 year old motor home or 15 years old now. And, uh, to be that age, it is in extremely nice condition and low miles. Uh, both slide outs have awning toppers. Now it does have a few little stress cracks here in the corner. And I'm telling you this because more than likely with 30,000 miles and for this price, this is going to sell to somebody sight unseen. And I don't want anybody sore or, or um, upset because I didn't show everything on the RV. It's got a few little stress cracks there on the fiberglass, nothing to worry about. They probably bumped into something just hard enough not to bust the bumper, but probably just backed into a little something. You know, that's probably been there for years. It's not going to affect the functionality or the or the appearance of the RV whatsoever. I'm just making you aware of it, folks. I, you know, you know, we've been in business 49 years, and you don't stay in business that long by lying to people. You tell them the truth, you show them the good and the bad, and that's what I try to do with all my videos. But it does have that. Other than that, folks, I mean. I don't see any delamination. You know, we're gonna wash it and clean it up after we service it, so don't have to worry about it being dirty when you pick it up. It just came in, got the driver's side door. I don't see anything wrong with the windshields. Nice little, it's a nice little Class A. Especially for 34.9, folks. Just turned 30,000 miles. Let's take a look inside. Got the power steps. As we step inside, folks, there's no smoke or pet odors. And after purchase, uh, we are going to go through a major systems check on this RV. Uh, in other words, after purchase, uh, my RV techs is going to put this in the back or put it in line to go into the shop. We're going to go through it. We're going to check all the major systems that matter including but not limited to we're going to check the generator we're going to check the running the driving the slide outs the jacks backup camera system we're going to check all the uh, drawers cabinets we're going to check all the appliances including the roof airs we're going to make sure they get uh, temperature the refrigerator and freezer on gas and electric we're going to check the stove top the microwave oven the confection oven Make sure all that works like it's supposed to. All your lights, all your drawers and cabinets. We're going to make sure your sofa folds out like it's supposed to. Um, and uh, make sure all your electrical outlets work, the converter works, and much more. Let's just give you a ballpark idea. Then, of course, we're going to clean it inside and out once it's done. 
with the inspection. Now, the way it works, folks, for those of you who don't want, have never watched my videos before, to keep her overhead down, which allows us to sell motorhomes like this for $34,900 when other, other dealers are wanting five dollars to $10,000 more for the same motorhome plus fees that we don't charge, in order to keep our overhead down to allow us to sell these RVs for the price that we sell them for and still be able to make a living uh, and pay our employees, uh, we don't check these things out till we sell them. So you're looking at it just how it came in. Um, and after, you know, after, like I said, after it's sold, it goes into line or in queue in the back. There, these things are checked out, the order that they're sold. And after it's been through the service, been through the inspection, and of course anything on that inspection that we find wrong with it, uh, on our list we will repair or replace. And we're not afraid to spend money to make sure it passes inspections. I've, you know, I've, I've replaced refrigerators, air conditioners, awnings. I've replaced jack systems, I've replaced uh, motors, transmissions, you know, like I said, last year we spent almost $150,000 in parts making sure our RVs pass the inspection after they're sold and we did all of that without going up on the price one cent on anybody. Even uh, We even lost deals on some, on some of them because we spent so much uh, making sure they pass the inspection, but we still sold it to the people for, for the price that we agreed on and that's that folks. You know, you've been in business for 49 years like we have. You sell almost 600 RVs a year like we have. We, you don't get there by lying to people. You, you know, that's why I always tell in my videos how the process works, how we sell them. I point out any flaws that I see that we're not going to fix, um, uh, and 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 more. So, you know, if you want to deal with somebody with integrity and honesty, you need to check. To, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel because, folks, I'm gonna tell you, there ain't no sell in the world that's worth lying to people because you know when you've been in business as long as we have you depend on repeat business and referrals and that's a major part of our business and I'm not going to jeopardize that just to make a quick sale unlike other RV dealers these are used motorhomes I'm not going to lie I'm never going to say they're new this is 15 years old so it's got 15 years worth of age and use to it so but you got to look at what this thing cost new which was $120,000 and look what it costs now, 349. So that 15 years worth of age and use is allowing you to save almost $85,000 over what this thing costs new. So that's a pretty good chunk of change that you're saving by making the smart decision to let somebody else lose the depreciation and uh, buy this one used and still have years of life left to it. 30,807 miles. Uh, up front, you've got the generator start and stop. You've got the um, jack system, backup camera system, plenty of cup holders, driver's side door. Uh, got a TV. You've got surround sound speakers. Got a crossover. Reading lamps. You've got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around, meets in the middle. Your sleeper sofa makes a bed. You've got solid hardwood cabinets. Got the nice indirect accent lighting which gives it a nice touch uh, it does have a little I don't know what in the world happened there folks I've got a guy I'm going to get to dye that so don't worry you'll never know that's there once it's been dyed but you've got a um, leather front captain shares leather recliner you got solid surface Corian uh, style countertops these are very very heavy just like you'd put in your own home even has the uh, built-in Corian sinks with no seam to it that you have to worry about sealing. You've got a stove top, you've got a microwave and a confection oven. I've got this, I, I actually installed this myself in my own personal motorhome. I love this thing, folks. You can microwave in it and you can also use it as an electric oven. Great for baking biscuits, making a quick meal, and thanks to the grill to go feature, you can grill in it. Because like I said in my other videos, folks, when you've been driving all day, you get set up at the campground, you're tired, you don't want to go out and eat. Um, you know, you want to fix something quick, easy, and, and as me less messy as possible. You can put you a couple hamburgers up there, a couple steak, fish, some vegetables, whatever you want, and you can grill on it just, just like a grill. And you don't have to mess with getting a charcoal grill out or a propane grill. And perfect for two people to make a quick meal chicken whatever you want to put in there and it works great and it's very very fast
eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator freezer with built-in ice maker. We're going to make sure that works like it's supposed to. This is what I was talking about, folks, the side hallway. Notice um, as you walk to the back, you've got complete privacy in the rear bedroom. Uh, without having, you've got a little door you can close right there, but even when that door is open, you, can, you cannot see directly back into the bedroom from the rest of the RV. And as we step back here, of course, they don't waste any space. Caddy corner storage, you've got a vent fan. You can open this door up right here to the bathroom, and it will go all the way against the wall to give you an extra privacy barrier. And this is a pretty neat size bathroom for a 34 foot Class A. First of all, you've got the upgrade porcelain toilet, you've got a medicine cabinet, you've got uh, double ducted roof airs, and this is cool too. This is a residential style, a residential size, I should say, tub and shower. You're not going to find very many 34 foot Class A's with a tub and shower this big. I mean, this is at least, I'd say, a four, four and a half foot long tub, maybe bigger than that. Full wall surround, and you've got a skylight, and you can see around the skylight, no water damage, no soft spots, anything like that. Glass sliding door. That is a big, big, I've got a 38-foot Class A, folks. This is way bigger tub and shower than I've got my 38, and this is just a 34, so definitely a, a nice upgrade. And as we walk to the back, I'm going to show you another nice upgrade, of course, that side hall. Open this up, huge rear bedroom. And this is all in a 34 foot package. This bedroom, without putting a tape measure to it, is at least eight foot from the door to the back closet. Tons of storage, this is that extra slide out coming into effect. A uh, Queen Island bed. And what's neat about it, you've got your own air conditioner for back here. And what you can do on a hot day, because I'm very hot natured and I really appreciate this. You open that cool jet up and all the air from the second air conditioner is going to dump into this bedroom. So you can get it ice, ice cold in here if you want to. Um, big, huge closet across the back. You got a TV. Like I said, carpets look great. Mattress is in good shape. I had a little picture of the desert. I was just there a few days ago. I just got back from vacation and, and was at the Grand Canyon and out, out in the desert and seen all that stuff right there. So it's kind of cool. But anyway, uh, plenty of fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV. Got the carpeted headliner, which helps. There's two things. That carpeted headliner will help insulate the coach. And it also helps reduce road vibrations and road noise. So... And don't believe me, drive one of these with that carpeted headliner and drive one without, you won't believe the difference. All in all, folks, very nice low mileage package for only $34.9. That includes that full inspection. That includes uh, a walkthrough demonstration by the RV tech that checked it out so you know how to operate everything. And um, so you can take it out with confidence. Uh, that includes a 45-day temporary tag, includes a starter kit, instructional DVDs, and more. 34.9 out the door. That includes a new awning canvas, us fixing that chair, all that, folks, for an all-inclusive 34.9 plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident. Uh, if you're out of state, like most of our buyers are, you'll pay your sales tax when you tag and title this motor home at your home state or your local DMV office and you'll pay whatever your state sales tax rate is. But if you are a Georgia resident, just like anything else you buy in Georgia from a dealer and or for sale by owner, you have to pay sales tax. And um, it's called TAVT tax. And just call our sales department, and they'll have to pull it up on the Georgia's website to give you an exact quote on the TAVT or sales tax for Georgia residents. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get sales help at 423-605-6747. Uh, you can email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, and, of course, check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, YouTube. I strongly recommend you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to uh, make sure you get notifications every time I post a video. 
and I, I don't monetize my channel I don't have commercials I don't make money off YouTube like a lot, I've seen a lot of dealers doing that now uh, so you don't have to sit there and watch a commercial just because you want to watch one of my videos but anyway uh, I'm also folks look me up on Facebook Big Bo I've got my own Facebook page and you can also see the Parkway page from there as well and I just made it live this morning so I'm gonna be posting some tips and and uh, posting some inventory and and just maybe a blog or two and, and having a little fun with it. it's still a new thing um, for Facebook for me personally so I, I'm gonna have some fun with it never know what I'll post on there maybe even a joke or two but anyway call us 706-965-7929 evenings and Sundays 423-605-6747 sales at parkwayrvcenter.com is our email now folks you know and I've said this before um, keep in mind and, and we're kind of an old fashioned we're 49 year old family owned and operated third generation independently owned used RV dealers one of the biggest oldest and largest in the United States today we're kind of old-fashioned. Uh, you can certainly welcome to send us an email. I have I don't use commission salespeople, so I don't have a large sales staff. I've got four non-commissioned salespeople, which benefits you because a, a commission salesperson means you're going to have to pay more for the unit because the dealer has to mark it up 25% uh, more to cover the 25% industry standard commission rate. That's right, folks. And if you buy an RV from a commission salesperson, 25% of the gross profit goes right to the salesperson. So that means every extra dollar they get you to pay, extra quarter in their pocket. Every dollar they get you to take less for your trade in, extra quarter in their pocket. Makes it hard to deal with somebody. Plus, it costs you more. And then we learned 49 years ago that we refuse to use commission salespeople. It creates sales pressure. It creates uh, a, a, a buying and selling environment that's miserable to everybody, buyers and sellers included. I don't know why dealers still use commission salespeople. I mean, I know why they do it, because they can keep as many salespeople as they want, and they don't have to pay them salary. They just pay them when they produce a sale. So this allows them to keep 30, 40 salespeople. It doesn't cost them any more to do that than to keep three or four. Well, we're opposite, folks. We have no commission salespeople. That means no sales pressure. That means lower prices because we don't have to mark our units up an additional 25% to cover a salesperson's commission. That also means less stress, no sales pressure. Uh, you know, you can come here and look at over 170 used RVs unescorted during business hours. Prices in the windshield, the prices inside on a flyer, and um, you can look all you want without a salesperson. And you're certainly welcome to be escorted by a salesperson. All we ask you to do, if you want to be escorted, is to call ahead at least 24 hours, make an appointment so they can set aside some time to spend with you. And if you just want to come out and browse without a salesperson, you can do so without an appointment. It's entirely up to you. And uh, if you do see something you like, you just have to sit down in our air-conditioned showroom. Uh, and uh, one of our salespeople, when they get freed up from a sales call, or an appointment and they have a few minutes free they'll be happy to talk to you. it's kind of like going to a doctor's appointment folks you know you go to a doctor's appointment without an uh, you go to a doctor's office without an appointment and uh you know they but they'll be able to work you in but you may have to wait a little bit and it's kind of the same situation here most of the time sometimes i've had to have customers wait more than a few minutes and i apologize for that but uh you know like i said that's why i always recommend appointments not required but strongly suggested I guess is the best way to put it anyway give us a call uh, drop us an email financing is available with approved credit and down payment uh, minimum 10% down uh, is doesn't matter how good your credit is folks all these nationwide lenders we use require 10% down cash or trade equity no way around it I wish there was it's but they've got the money I don't They've got the billions of dollars to loan. I don't have that, unfortunately. So they can make the rules. And uh, it's 10% down. And, of course, if you've got some issues with your credit, you may have to pay more. It's kind of the old saying, the uh, lower your score, the higher your down payment. It's That's true in the RV industry especially. You can apply right from our website. We'll take care of you. We'll do our best to get you approved. And um, we've got some great connections for primary and secondary financing. So give us a call, drop us an email, 
uh, come visit us here in person. Folks, I'm going to tell you, we've got 170 used RVs in stock, more than any dealer within a 500-mile radius of us. Very, very rarely does somebody not come here in person and spend some time looking and not find something they want to buy. That's very rare that they don't find something they don't want to buy. Now, not everybody can buy. You know, you get a lot of people that, that don't have the credit, don't have the money, but if you're able to buy and you've got good credit, you've got the down payment or you got cash, I promise you folks, you're, you're going to find something if you come here and visit us in person, spend a few hours with us. You're going to find something you, you're going to want to buy. Now, I've got a lot of inventory. At least 80% of my inventory are drivable motor homes. I've got motor homes from 19 foot to 18 foot actually to 45 foot and everything in between. I've got motor homes from 99, 95 to 160 thousand dollars in each and everything in between. I've got towables too, toy haulers, fifth wheels, travel trailers, all that stuff, hybrids. Um, you know, I've got something for everybody and something for just about everybody's budget. You know, I don't exclusively, what I'm saying that, you know, a lot of dealers, they may only exclusively sell the used motor homes 75000 and up or $50,000 and up or $40,000 and up. Folks, I, I, I diversify our inventory. We buy units every single day. We sell units every single day. We trade for units every single day. So our inventory, inventory completely changes every 120 days because we've got the lowest prices on the Internet and we've got such a variety. If you want to buy a motor home for 10 grand, I've got options for you. If you want to buy one for 15 grand, I've got options for you. 20 grand, 30 grand, 50 grand, uh, 100 grand. I've got multiple options for you. So I promise you, if you come here and visit us in person, you know, we're laid back. You know, we're, we're very low pressure because we don't use commission salespeople. You're going to love our prices, especially when you get on your phones and start Googling what other 2003. 3515 cruise masters are bringing you look at the mileage and condition and compared to ours you're going to see this thing is a bargain and um, google's the rv shopper's best friend that's the number one bit of advice i can give you you know nada is a great source but a lot of times nada and market value are complete opposites if something's in high demand which any kind of road ready used rv right now is in the shortest supply i've ever seen in 20 years in the business Used motorhomes are getting harder and harder to find. That's why more and more dealers are selling strictly new, and we're still we're still kind of staying with the used ones, folks. But um, when you get online and you can, with a few strokes on your phone, your tablet, or your computer, few, few keystrokes, you can look at every 2013 Cruise Master for sale in the country. With most of them, with prices, mileage, condition, and make sure you ask about the extra fees the dealerships may charge. Because a dealer advertises a certain price, that doesn't mean that's what you're going to pay. Because they're going to start, a lot of them are going to add thousands of dollars in dock fees, prep fees, tag and title fees, processing fees, acquisition fees, corporate fees, freight fees, and whatever else they want to call it, folks. They're all 100% ripoff fees is what I call them. They're 100% profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. Don't fall victim to it. It's a scam. It's just a way for them to get you to pay more profit for the RV by disguising the extra profit in the form of extra fees. 49 years in business. We've never charged an extra fee. We never will. The uh, only thing you're required to pay by law for any new or used RV is the sales price and any applicable sales tax. And if you're out of state, if you're not a Georgia resident, like I said earlier, you'll just pay your tax when you tag and title this RV at your home state at your local DMV office. You do get a 45-day temporary tag. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, call us. You know, we don't have a lot of time to spend behind a computer. My salespeople don't, so I always recommend calling over emailing for quicker response. Um, when you sell almost 600 RVs a year between four salespeople, they don't have time to sit behind a computer maybe once a day in the morning before we open they answer their emails. And of course today's Saturday, so they won't answer their emails till Monday morning. So if you want to, and during that time, somebody else could buy this unit on eBay or, or buy it on any of the 20 plus different websites I advertise on. So give us a call, drop us an email if you want to, but calling's preferred. Um, come visit us in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. And thank you so much for watching. Um, 
Let us know if we can help.